Hey guys, let's talk about tapes today, specifically tapes that go in your thumb hole. Why would you want to use tapes? Well, what tapes do are they basically go in the thumb hole to help change the size of your hole as your thumb might change. Well, why would you want to use them? Well, if you don't use tape, what's going to happen is if the thumb hole is a little big, you're going to have to squeeze to hold on to it. And then you're going to have to remember to let go or be able to let go at the same time every time. And it basically adds another variable that can impact your overall consistency if you let go of it earlier or later, uh, etc. So when you start using tapes, what it allows you to do is to create a nice tight thumb hole. So that way uh, you can leave your hand nice and relaxed and the ball will always come off at the bottom of your swing. and It'll come off at the same time every time, allowing you to be a little bit more consistent. So I have two different types of tapes here. I have the most common type, which is white and black, but it's important to know that the white is textured and the black is smooth. Now, people will not always do it this way, but the way it's designed, the white tape, the texture tape is meant for the front of your thumb hole to sit on the pad of your thumb. And the black tape, is designed and meant for the back of the hole where you want to be able to kind of release and have it come off easy. Now first it's important to know that if you don't put this texture tape in the right spot, for many people it can cause you to break open and blister because it's textured. Now um, there are insert tape tools that you can check out but uh, a nice little trick is just putting it right on the tip of the paper like that and then curling the paper up. And now with texture tape, again, I would recommend it on the front. And an easy way, a common mistake is they put it directly in the front of the thumb hole. But when we put our thumb in, uh, it actually doesn't go directly forward like that. It, it tends to angle a little bit more forward. So normally what I tell people, a good visual line to use is the edge of this grip. So we're going to put that in there. And you can see with the piece of paper, it makes it a lot easier. And then we're gonna do the same thing with black. I'm going to tear this off here again just like so and I'm just going to flip it and put it basically completely opposite of where we put that last piece. This one's not sticking to the paper quite as well but that gives you a general idea. White tape in the front, black in the back um, and you can kind of alternate to create different feels but that's where you're going to want to put the tape and it's important to understand the difference between the textures of the tape. But Vice actually has some feel performance tape that gives you a large range of textures. So you can see here number one being the quickest, number eight being the slowest. So that means number eight is the tackiest and number one is going to be the most slick. Now black, which is not on this chart, is going to actually be below number one or very close to number one. And so you can use all kinds of different variations of these. You can use black in the back or one in the back. You can use eight in the front all the way down to this white or the three in the front. And with all those different combinations, you can really find the feel that you like best. Another thing to keep in mind is that the white options, sometimes there is a premium white tape out there that is really, really tacky. So you can check that out. Also, the black tapes can vary in thickness. So from brand to brand, you can check those out if you're looking for either a thinner or thicker black tape. Uh, they will vary from time to time. All right, and for the last part about tape, my favorite tip that over the years in the pro shop I get the most positive feedback on is the half piece. And it might sound crazy, but it really is a game changer. Once you start using tape a lot, you'll find that you'll be in between pieces. And so all we're gonna do is tear the piece in half there, and we're gonna still use that same trick to install it, curl this up a little bit. And the key is, is we're getting it down where it's only on the pad of the thumb. Getting pretty far down in there. If you have fairly, you know, not skinny fingers uh, like me, there are insert tape tools that you can use. So the advantage of that is it will give you a little bit more grip down here on the bottom of your thumb, but right when you go to initially clear, you're not gonna feel that additional drag at the top of the thumb. So the top of the thumb feels the same, but the bottom of the thumb gives you a little bit more grip. And I promise you, uh, try this out as you get used to tape and you get more particular about your feel, the half a piece of tape can be a game changer. We hope you found that useful. If you have some questions you'd like us to address, get them down in the comments and we will answer them in future videos. Until then, thanks for watching.